questions that you have in terms of couponing, saving money, wherever you want to go, the sky's the limit. And I always try to come with a topic as well. So this week, um, we're going to do kind of an oldie but a goodie, and that is mobile apps. It's one that we probably cover every three months or so. So for some of you, it's old news, um, but we have seen some changes in the last few months with some of these stores becoming direct link stores, which makes life easier. Um, and you know, overall, it never hurts to cover the topic again. Um, if you are old news to this, then I would love your help in answering other people's questions in the comments because I can't always grab every single comment. Um, my goal is to, but I know you guys get to help answering them as well. So um, if you are seeing folks ask the same questions over and over again, you know, chiming in and, and helping, if you already know all the answers, I will gladly accept your help tonight too. So we're going to try to hit all of the major apps um, that we can use to save money in the grocery store, plus a few others. Uh, it's always fun to you know, talk about any apps that folks are enjoying. So if you've got some that you want to chime in on uh, that you've loved and we aren't talking about them, feel free to throw those out there too. We're going to start with the main ones though that are coupon related. There's a lot of apps that are out there that you can use to save money on your groceries. So if you aren't using them or they kind of scare you, then this is for you. That's what we're going to try to hit tonight. Uh, and then maybe for some of you, you're going to learn some ways to use these apps a little faster too. So um, that's where we're, we're going to go. And thanks, Wendy. I'm glad the topic is welcome. So Wendy is on a lot with me on Monday nights. Um, so that you're the folks that are on almost every Monday night, you're the ones that I worry about when we go back and we repeat a topic. Um, but I'm glad that, that, you know, if you're okay with it, Wendy, then I'm okay with it. Um, let's see. And Sang Moon's already asking, where is a good place to shop other than Publix? Um, so if I was to rank the grocery stores... And I don't know what you have in your area. Publix, Bilo, Harris Teeter, Lowe's Foods, Kroger. Those are all great choices. Um, Winn-Dixie, if you're in Florida, it's about the same ad as Bilo. I just prefer that Bilo doubles coupons. All of those are great to go uh, for any of your grocery deals. So I, I would just say picking the one that you enjoy the most. Uh, and that your near works in terms of saving money, not feeling like you have to go across town past four grocery stores. Just pick the one that's near you. Um, okay, let's dive in. Uh, and yes, I still sound sick. So I finally gave up. Uh, I Y'all noticed I never came live with videos last week. I just got worse and worse and worse. And I finally did an app uh, and used a tele telehealth system to have a doctor's appointment yesterday and get some antibiotics. So I am actually functioning today where I was not functioning yesterday. So glad to be back with you and hopefully next week I won't sound sick at all. Okay, um, let's jump in <clears throat> uh, and <laughs> um, as we go through on mobile apps, we're going to start with Ibotta because honestly, Ibotta, if you're, if you're trying to figure out what app to get started with, Ibotta has the most available offers. I mean, there's six, seven hundred offers inside of Ibotta. So if you're trying to figure out, you know, I don't, I, you're overwhelmed by mobile apps or you don't know where to start, this is where you should start. Uh, not only because there are so many offers, which means that you're going to reach the threshold to get your money back faster, but also because they have so many stores now that are direct linked. So to explain what I mean by that, you'll see um, as I scroll up a whole category here that is, um, oh, I say you're going to see it, and it's not it's not showing you. Um, let's see. I might end up trying to close this out and reopen it. Uh, this was why I was late coming on, um, because the cord that I'd chosen for my phone wasn't happy. Um, so let's see if I can make this happy. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Um, and it would be a very sad day, but we have done it before where I've just done uh, videos like this and shown you the front side of my phone, but it's so much easier to show you um, the uh, actual phone itself. So let's see. It's just not, it's not wanting to kick in. Um, uh, let's see. I may have to... Um, get my husband to run to the car. I don't know if you guys have issues with Apple cords or not, but for me, Apple cords die. They, they don't live a very good long life. 
um, the way that I want them to. So there we go. Okay, we're, we're up and running now. So this is Ibotta. As I scroll down, you can see the whole section that says link your loyalty card. Uh, now I have mine linked already, but it's still helping folks that don't have their card linked to kind of see what your options are. Keep in mind, Ibotta knows where you live. So for me, Ibotta is showing the stores in my area that can be linked, and it is highly possible that you have stores in your area that can be linked that it's not gonna show me. I am not near Harris Teeter, um, so it is showing me the options that are in my general area, which is humorous. Our Harvey's closed down last year. We don't have one anymore, um, but this is what it thinks we have. We don't even have a right anymore. Um, so those are our stores that are linked. And what I mean by that, because this is kind of new, is that I don't have to do anything other than unlock an offer. So if you've never used any of these mobile apps, I guess let me back up for two seconds. Because if you've never used them at all, these are like a mail-in rebate. I am not going to get any of these discounts. And let me show you some of the offers. We'll click on Publix. I'm not going to get any of these offers at the register. Instead, I'm going to come home and Publix, because I have my account linked with them, uh, and now it's clicking out again. Um, my, this might be a long night. Um, so <clears throat> Publix, because I have my account linked with them, um, let's see if we can close it and reopen it, if that will magically make it happy again. Um, we'll see. You can kind of sit here and watch, waiting for it to come back on. Um, oh. Yeah, here we go. This is why... Um, we have, you know, tech support. So my husband just brought me a better cord. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah. Maybe we should all find a deal on new Apple cords. I think that is um, uh, very worthwhile. Okay. Now we should be good to go. So here we go. We're in Publix. My Publix account is linked. So what that means is I am not going to, I don't have a loyalty card. There's no Publix card at all, even though it's going to tell you that. It's kind of silly. What you're going to link here is your phone number. It's your login to the Publix digital coupons. So you already go to Publix.com and you load their digital coupons and you have a login to their online website. It's the same login that I'm going to enter into the Ibotta app. So that email and that password that you use for Publix.com. You only have to do that one time, and then it's connected. And so you can see that at the top that it says for me, my account is connected. So now I go to the store, I buy participating items, and I get money back without having to do any work. So what I need to do, though, is unlock offers. So let me show you this um, Cheerios, peanut butter Cheerios. You can see the little check mark. Let me see if I can um, get my cursor right there. Little check mark right there. Um, that shows that that peanut butter Cheerios has been unlocked. It doesn't mean that it's saved, by the way. Uh, if this were to meet its limit, it's going to go away. Even though I've unlocked it, Ibotta does not save offers just for you. But it means it's unlocked. So now if I go, these peanut butter Cheerios are actually buy one, get one, right now through Tuesday night or Wednesday night um, in Publix. So I go to the store. I can use a coupon in the store. There's a dollar off two coupon um, that I can use on these Cheerios. And then uh, I'm going to come home and however many boxes I bought, I'm going to get a dollar back on each one of them because Publix is going to tell Ibotta that I bought them. So I'm not going to have to do any work there. I'm just going to unlock it, shop. And then make sure before I check out, this is the most important part probably, that you enter that phone number to your Publix account into the keypad where you would normally check out. If you forget to enter your phone number, there is nothing you can do about it. So that is what is now linking Ibotta to Publix. And there's not a way, if we back out, back out there's not a way to still submit a paper receipt. I don't have that option. So once I have linked the account, um, I am going to be stuck with always making sure that I enter my phone number at checkout. So don't do that. Don't forget um, because you're going to be stuck and you won't earn those Ibotta offers at all. 
mean, the only other solution would be that you then go to customer service, return the items that had Ibotta offers on them, and then rebuy them, entering your phone number. That's a big pain in the neck, so just don't forget. And that's going to save you a lot of time. But the sweet part here is that I don't have to do any work. I don't have to come home. I don't have to scan barcodes. I don't have to take a picture of my receipt. This was one last week uh, that was completely free. I buy this and there's a $1 offer inside of Ibotta. You're going to get that $1 back. Uh, and most of these as well, you know, just to go back here to these peanut butter Cheerios, it's a limit of five. So if you went into the store and you bought five, you're going to get $5 back from Ibotta because you bought five. Can't get any easier than that. I mean, like, that's a breeze. All I had to do was unlock it. So this one is already unlocked. Let me show you what I mean by that. So these Cheez-Its snapped. Uh, there is an Ibotta offer for this. These are actually going to be on sale on Wednesday. Um, so, But note the date. This actually says it's going to expire in two days. So folks in Florida, this isn't going to overlap for you. I'm sorry. Um, but you see the little plus sign. I'm going to click on that, and it is going to unlock the offer. Now, normally it makes you answer something. I don't even read them, um, honestly, so whatever. We're just going to click on one. They probably would never eat sour cream and onion snaps, so now they're going to go make them because we all didn't read it. But it is unlocked. If I buy Cheez-It Snapped now, I can use a coupon. There is a new printable coupon for $0.75 cents off. I can get that printable coupon, use that in the store, and then I'm still going to get another $0.75 cents back from Ibotta. So you get the, the concept. Um, that is a, a store that's linked. So Kroger, Publix, uh, Lowe's Foods, Harris Teeter. Those are the big ones in the South that are linked by Low. We've got a lot, and I can, you know, again, show you this line here across the way. Um, stores that are not linked, like let's say we go to Walgreens or CVS or Target. Um, so there's a fun moneymaker at Target right now, and this is on the Target unadvertised list, um, which I was working on, and I don't think I actually push live. So as I say that, I will push the list live so you can see it. Um, but there is a... Um, Target unadvertised deal on um, Axe and on Dove Men Care products that comes out to be a moneymaker. Uh, and the sweet part of that being a moneymaker is because it has a ton of Ibotta offers. So we go in this week and we buy $20 worth. There we go. I just pushed it live for you guys. Um, so you buy $20 worth of personal care items in Target this week. There's a Target in-app coupon, or it's in the Target mobile app, um, to get a $5 gift card back. Then we have coupons. We've got coupons in Sunday's paper. So you've got some high-value coupons here, and we have Ibotta offers. So let me show you. The easiest way to use Ibotta on that um, is to scan the barcodes and unlock offers as you go. So if you aren't doing it this way, the idea of sitting there and scrolling through everything in Ibotta, it, it this, the idea of that kind of gives me a headache. So we have, um, and I just went through and kind of found one um, in our cabinet. This is not a participating uh, act. But if you went in and you scan the barcode, you're going to know very quickly whether or not you've bought the two-in-one or the three-in-one. Um, but it did pull up all the acts offers. So if I did grab the right one in Target, which would be your goal, that you bought the two-in-one uh, and not this guy, which is just plain old normal acts, uh, then you unlock the offer. I'm going to say that I want to buy it in Target, and now when I come home, I'm going to buy it in Target. I'm going to use coupons on it in Target. I'm going to get the gift card back in Target. When I come home, I am going to take a picture of my Target receipt, and I'm going to upload that through the app. So to show you how that's going to look, let me back up for a second. You can see down at the bottom, there's a redeem button. And so you're going to click redeem. It's going to ask you where you shopped. I'm going to say, hey, I went to Target. And then it's going to walk you through step by step how to redeem your receipt. Now, this is very simple. It feels overwhelming if you've never done it, but it's, it's a breeze. So we're not going to hover there, um, but it will walk you through. So all I did was hit the redeem button. It's going to show you each step at once. Do keep out your products because it's going to want you to scan the barcode as you submit that offer. So um, stores that are left that you're going to submit a paper receipt for our drug stores, so Walgreens, CVS, Target, Walmart, um, and Walmart you don't have to scan things as much, Dollar General, um, you'll, you've still got a lot of link stores, but there's still some that 
you can use, which is great, but you're going to need to do a little bit of work to be able to use them. Okay, um, let's see. I, I know I'm, a, I'm missing a lot of comments. You guys are chatting away, sorry, as I'm having technical difficulties and all of that. Um, uh, let's see. I'll try to catch back up uh, with everybody's questions as well. Um, <clears throat> is there a maximum number of Ibotta offers that you can load? So Sherry, no. I mean, you could go to town and unlock them all, but I don't know why you would want to because it's not saving them for you. So if I sat here and I clicked on Publix and I literally went down the line and unlocked every single offer, I could do it. It's annoying um, because you're going to have to look at the little ads. You're going to have to watch little videos. Um, look at the other offers. Uh, so, I mean, you can, here's one that's going to make us watch an ad. You can see how that's going to get really old. So for me, honestly, Sherry, I only sit there and scan barcodes as I'm shopping, as something goes in the buggy, scanning the barcode, uh, and making sure I have the offer unlocked. But I don't really mess with unlocking offers that I'm not going to use because it's not saving it. Uh, now, a different app, though, is Saving Star, and you guys know I'm a little OCD with my coupon app, so I have them all in their little pocket. But with Saving Star, if I unlock the offers in Saving Star, they're mine. They're mine until they expire. So with this app, I would recommend that you go to town. This is a new one. Seattle's Best just came out. Um, the Purina Tidy Cats makes for a fun deal at Target this week. Um, once I unlock it, it is mine, and nobody can take it from me. So that's the difference between those two particular apps. And this one, go to town. Unlock any of them that you want. Um, they're going to be there until they expire, which is sweet, or you use them, and then you're good to go. Now, another question I get a lot, and the Tidy Cats is a fun example. So this offer from Saving Star is by $20 worth of Tidy Cats. It does not have to be in the same transaction, and you're going to get $4 back. Now, the way Saving Star works on these types of offers, and they don't have a ton of them. They've got like four or five right now. The way they work on these types of offers is they track you. And you can see the little gray line right underneath the $4. That gray line will slowly turn colors as you redeem offers. Now, this week, we could head to Target, uh, and there is a deal on Tidy Cats where you can get, and I'll, um, I actually have um, the Target unadvertised list up, so... I will um, actually just show it to you. Um, let's see. Let's go this route. Um, so you're you're looking at the back end of Southern Tabers, by the way. I didn't pull it up on the front end, so disregard all of my uh, HTML there. But the Tidy Cats deal is right here at the bottom. Um, so there's two different ones. We've got a ton of offers that pair in. When you look at that, I know it's um, really tiny. Let's see. We'll make it really big for you guys. Um, so Tidy Cats, if I go in and I buy $20 worth of Tidy Cats, I can use the Saving Star offer right there. And then we have a Target gift card offer that was in the newspaper two weeks ago. We've got a printable for Tidy Cats. We've got a cartwheel for Tidy Cats. And we have an Ibotta for Tidy Cats. Now, we don't normally see this much overlap, but it's a pretty huge overlapping deal. So when you are thinking mobile apps, don't think that it's just this app. They can all be paired together. So I can go in and I can grab this Tidy Cats uh, and I can use the store coupon for a gift card. I can use the $2 off two in the store. So that's really all I'm going to use at the register. Oh, and the cartwheel. Sorry, I'm going to use the cartwheel, the $2 off two, and the gift card coupon at the register. Then I'm going to come home uh, and I'm going to submit for the Saving Star and the Ibotta. I'm going to upload my receipt from Target to both of those mobile apps uh, and earn the money back from both of them. I'm going to earn $4 back from the Saving Star app. Uh, and if you've got this particular deal, they're $8.99 a piece, so you'd need to buy three. Well, the Ibotta offer that's right here is actually a limit of five. So I'm going to get $4 back from Saving Star and I'm going to earn $6.15 back from Ibotta. Um, so to show you that again, um, because we just had it up on the, the Saving Star side, this is the Saving Star offer. Buy $20 worth of Tidy Cats, get $4 back. You're going to do it all in one purchase, and the only reason you are on this example is because you get a Target gift card to buy it all at the same time, so why not? Um, and then you're going to pop over to Ibotta, 
uh, and I don't have any tidy cats here, nor could I lift up a 20 pound container to scan its barcode. So we'll just search for tidy cats. Um, and you will find the tidy cat free and clear right here, and it's a limit of five as well. So buy three of them, you're gonna hit the $20 limit for Saving Star, you're gonna hit the limit to get the gift card, you're gonna get, you just, you see where this goes. So the mobile apps become really fun in this moment when you get to stack super deep uh, between cartwheel, store, manufacturer, I bought a Saving Star, I mean that's five offers on, on cat litter, that's it. So in the end, this cat litter is normally nine bucks for a 20 pound container. You're gonna get it for $2.90, a big 20 pound container. I have outdoor cats that don't even use a litter box and this still makes me excited. Um, so, you know, if you know somebody in Catland, you get the idea. Um, this is just one example. And actually, since we're here, I can show you, um, I'll scroll up and show you the Dub Men Care example as well. Um, since it is on the same page. So this is what I was just saying earlier that we have a Dove moneymaker and Axe moneymaker. Um, so to make that as big as I possibly can, um, with the Dove deal, you're gonna buy four Dove men, one Axe, that's gonna come to $20. You're gonna use the in ad coupon for a $5 gift card back. There's a coupon for Dove in Sunday's paper. There's a coupon for Axe in Sunday's paper. So use all of those. And then you're still gonna turn around and submit for all of these Ibotta offers on the same receipt. So grab that target receipt. And guys, you could grab the Dovemen and the Tidy Cats and just keep going. Now, the next question that I didn't answer, and I, I know I'm getting behind on questions, but I promise I'm gonna get there. Um, so the next question that I usually get with mobile apps is, well, how do we get our money back? when you have $20 saved up, so let's say you do this Dove Men deal and you do the Tidy Cats deal, that's $6.15 from the Tidy Cats. It is uh, $7.50 in the Dove and Axe deal. You're at $13.65 now. When you hit $20, you can get it back from Ibotta in a PayPal deposit or a gift card. So you've got a lot of options um, and that $20 threshold you'll be surprised that you're gonna hit it, especially now with stores that are directly linked, as long as you've unlocked the offers, um, you're gonna hit that $20 threshold. Usually for me, it's every couple weeks. It's not gonna take you very long at all um, because of the offers that are there, because the offers are limit fives, and you go in and you grab five of these, and they give you a buck back on each one of them, that was five bucks. Um, you know, So it doesn't take a ton of these deals to reach that $20 threshold. Just keep in mind, again, that these are like rebates. So I'm not getting that savings at the register. I'm getting the $5 back in the app. And then as soon as I hit the $20, I'm gonna get it out of the app. Um, now I saw somebody chat uh, a, a bit ago that you just actually cashed out for 100 bucks for Ibotta. So to answer another question there that folks do ask, you do not have to cash out immediately at $20. You can leave it there. You can leave it there all year. Saving Star is one. Uh, the, uh, the second app that I showed you is one that I actually will leave it there all year and it's kind of like a Christmas slush fund for us and I tend to cash out in November. Saving Star will do a direct deposit to your bank um, or PayPal or gift cards. Uh, so I will cash out and then use that for Christmas presents. So you can, we get um, so much, I mean, I bought it every other week. I don't know that I'd wanna hold that in my Ibotta account all year long. That would end up being a lot of money but you could if you really wanted to or if you weren't using it very often. The only warning is if you don't use Ibotta at all, or any of these apps actually, at all, for a long period of time, they do have a, a point in each app where they claim that you've gone dormant and they will start to take your money back um, kind of as like a, a holding fee. Now, I bought it, it's 12 months, so I think for most of us, we're gonna be fine. If you went to the beach, if you took a little break, you're not gonna fall into that that boat, but if you you know just stopped um, and you did not do this again for a year, they are gonna start to take a little bit of the money, so don't do that. <laughs> um, and, and why should you? You know, this is 
not only slightly addictive, but it's a good it's a good thing to do for your budget overall. Um, so don't just stop. Uh, Peggy's asking, does Kroger use my phone number also? Um, I don't have a public. So Peggy, other stores, and great question, other stores that are card-based, um, and how I explained how you link with Publix, um, if I have a store that actually has a card, that's what they link with. So Kroger, I give them my Kroger card number, uh, and it'll actually show it at the top that it is linked with my Kroger account. Buy low, I give them my buy low card number. Um, so it says, you know, my card is connected, uh, and then you can click the learn more. It'll explain to you what it means, but it just, as I scan my Kroger card or I scan my buy low card, they tell Ibotta what you bought. Food line is card based. Um, now, the flip side of that though, let's say you've lost your Kroger card and you only use your phone number uh, when you're in the store. I, that will work. Uh, for Kroger to tell Ibotta, but that won't work for you to link the accounts. So you're going to need, if you've lost your, your card, your store card number, just to be able to link them, just one time, stop by customer service in whatever store you're in and ask them to give you your card number. And they can kind of, they'll just print it, it's on a register receipt, but their computer can pull up your account and print a temporary card number. It's the same normal number for you. You can use that number to then link in Ibotta. You won't need it again. You can use your phone number every time you check out if that's what you normally use when you check out. Um, but I, to be able to link them, have to have the actual card number. So just to answer that question in case anybody had it, um, and you'll be good to go. Um, let's see. So Kim has a Harris Teeter Super Doubles question. If I have five um, coupons... And Hair Cedar's offering a buy two, get three free. Can I use all five coupons? No. So generally on the buy two, get three free deals, Hair Cedar only allows a coupon on the two that you're buying. And they do not allow coupons on the three that are free. Now on a buy one, get one deal, they do always allow two coupons, but not on the um, the buy two, get threes or, or whichever way around it might be that week. Um, could only use coupons on the two that you're buying. Okay, any idea when Stocking Spree is going to be rolled out electronically? So Stocking Spree is um, the Publix uh, buy $50 worth of Kraft, PepsiCo, and all of that, and you're good to um, good to go. It looks like um, that they've brought the website back up, at least. They had it completely down. Uh, and had it where you it kind of went dark. Oh, no, now that I click through, it has gone down. Um, so with their electronic way, I do want to warn folks, I do not expect this electronic way to track you. You're still going to have to upload your receipts to public stocking spree. Um, it is going to allow you to get a digital offer back instead of having to wait for a gift card to be mailed. Um, but I, it's not going to track you. So, and, and they kind of even give you that big hint in the wording because they tell you to hold on to your Publix receipts so that you can enter them when the website comes back up. Um, it's been down now for two weeks, so I would expect it to be any point now. I, I, you know, the fact that they took it down this long is a little surprising, um, but uh, hopefully, I, I don't have any date or timeline on it though. Uh, right now, and definitely haven't heard anything from Publix Corporate on it. Okay, um, <clears throat> let's see. Oh, um, so the Cheez-Its, for example, at Publix, does it show up at other stores too, or would I need to link it to each store individually? Mandy, that's a really good question. So when I unlock an offer in Ibotta, um, a lot of times it's going to ask you, where do you want to use this? Um, and to kind of go back out and show you that. So if I, um, I don't know if I unlocked the Tidy Cats or not. Okay, so Tidy Cats. Tidy Cats is actually good at a lot of stores. If I click the plus sign, um, the first thing it's going to ask is where do I plan on buying this? Uh, and if I add it to a store that I don't end up purchasing at it, um, it's okay. So if I unlock this for Publix, I'm going to have to watch a, a video to do that. I'm not actually going to unlock it. Um, it will still, and I'll show you what it does. Um, let's see. Well, we'll click the button, and we, we won't watch. Um, normally, it just makes my phone go black, and y'all y'all don't end up seeing the commercial. And then it'll pop back in here in a second. It slowly, supposedly, has us watching it right now. Um, 
So when we then click redeem and we pick a store, Tidy Cats is actually going to be available under all the stores. Uh, I'm not really sure why they've gone through. There we go. The, the commercial finished watching. How great was that? We didn't have to watch it. Um, so it's good at all those stores. If we come back here and we click on my offers, um, you'll see uh, all of the stores that are available. And if I click on Target, for example, I just unlocked Tidy Cats for Publix, which is not where I would recommend grabbing it. Um, but Tidy Cats, um, I'm going to say that, yes, is, is there. It's under Target. I didn't unlock it for Target. I unlocked it for Publix. I think, if anything, that screen that pops up, Mandy, is almost like them um, taking a poll. Where do you plan on using this? Um, but it's not one that they're going to hold you to really at all. So hopefully that helps you to see uh, and, you know, across the board on some of these, I unlocked the Cheez-It Snap for Publix as well. Um, but hopefully that helps as you kind of, you know, don't get scared by whatever store you pick for sure. Um, and yes, so Matt saying a pro tip, always scan what you're buying through Ibotta to make sure that it's the right item. I highly agree, Matt. So and I just showed this earlier, guys. So I have an Axe and there is an Axe offer. But notice what pulls up at the top, this top little bar. It's tiny for y'all, I know, but it says, hmm, we couldn't find any offers on that. Um, so down below, there's Axe. And if you thought, oh, it pulled up Axe, no, it didn't. It, it's telling you this is not a participating item. Um, the, the ones it pulled up was Axe 2-in-1, Axe Gold, Axe 3-in-1. Um, so you do need to pay attention to what's at the top and that little hmm line that's right below the dollar um, is bad news in a sense. And if this is the one that you grabbed in the store, you're going to be really disappointed. No, I didn't. Don't worry. This is just from my uh, massive cabinet of hair care where I could probably pull out any brand that I needed. Um, but I just stopped at that one and I didn't scan it back in the bathroom. But it is a great example on always making sure um, that you scan your items and make sure it's the right one before you check out. Um, so how many times can we do that deal, Jonathan? I'm guessing you mean um, on the Tidy Cats. So it's really going to depend on how many coupons you have. But one deal is probably going to end up being where you're going to max out because of the Saving Star offer, because of the Ibotta offers. Um, so grabbing, I mean, in the end, that's a lot of cat litter. Those are 20-pound containers. So you're going to have 60 pounds of cat litter, yes, for less than $9, um, but that's still a lot of cat litter. So I'd stick with just the three and, and go your merry way at that one. Um, okay. Um, let's see. I think... Um, Oh, sorry, trying to catch up. Um, as far, yeah, and I think everybody else was also chiming in on that for you too, Jonathan, and saying, you know, saving starting about it, you can really only do those one time. Um, the minimum payout for pretty much all of these mobile apps is $20. So the minimum payout for Ibotta is $20. The minimum payout for Saving Star it used to be $5, but it's $20. Checkout 51 is $20. So as we go through any of the coupon apps, you're going to need $20 to be able to redeem them. The, the only exception is Fetch Rewards, and Fetch Rewards is really not um, like these other apps in a sense. Fetch Rewards is really like Receipt Hog, and I put both of them together. Um, they are receipt scanning apps so that you take a picture of every receipt that you purchase and you earn points for entering receipts. Um, well, Fetch Rewards will give you a reward at 3,000 points, which is equal to $3. So in terms of all of these apps that we're talking about, um, that is Fetch Rewards. And I will share, uh, if you have never used Fetch Rewards, through tonight they are doing um, a bonus. If you scan any receipt uh, and you, it could be a receipt really from the last two weeks from the grocery store, you will get a 3,000 point bonus, which is enough for an Amazon gift card or other gift card. Um, so I just stuck my um, code in, um, and you should be able to see it. Uh, it's N0REC, so if you put in that code, and then scan your first receipt. So don't do it after you scan your first receipt, but enter the code N0REC, and then scan your first receipt with Fetch Rewards, then you will get a 3,000-point bonus. That ends tonight, though, so get some homework. If you've never used 
um, fetch before, and that is a zero. So it's N zero R E C, and I, I, didn't, I didn't get to pick it. I would have totally not had a zero in it. It's kind of tricky. Um, now, once you get fetch rewards, there are a few offers in there that are product specific. Um, there's a fun one for, um, let's see, um, or it was in there earlier. Um, there is one for Soul, um, oh, um, Soul Cerveza right now as you go through. And Soul Cerveza is buy one, get one at Publix um, through tomorrow night. So, hey, you know, Cinco de Mayo's over, but it's still kind of fun. Um, you're going to get it buy one, get one, and 2,500 points is worth $2.50 back. Um, so it's on sale basically for $4.50 uh, a six-pack, and then you're getting $2.50 back from Fetch. Uh, now these offers, most of them with Fetch are limit one. Um, so don't go in and buy the store out of, of Soul Cerveza. Uh, you'll be very disappointed. But when I scan my Publix receipt, so I come home and I line up the receipt and I take a picture, uh, you're going to earn points for other things too. You're going to earn points just for your random purchase, but you're going to earn an additional bonus for purchasing that. Uh, and there's a lot of other, well, I say a lot. There's probably about seven or eight Fetch Reward offers right now um, in the app. That is one. Um, another one that is also, uh, it, or this is actually, about to be buy one, get one at Publix starting Wednesday. It is buy one, get one at Bilo and Winn-Dixie right now. Um, so pick your store. But Magnum Ice Cream, this one actually in the fine print, and I can't really make it bigger for you, but when you get your app, you'll see it. Um, it's limit three. So I could go in and grab three Magnum Ice Creams. We've got printable coupons for Magnum as well. So again, this is BOGO at Bilo and Winn-Dixie through tomorrow night, but it's going to be BOGO at Publix starting Wednesday. So pick the store you want to go to, buy it, buy up to three if you want, and you're going to get 500 points back on each one of them. Now that's just 50 cents, so it's not a super high amount, but we already have a $1.25 printable. So pairing that together is pretty sweet. And um, to pop back over here really quick um, to Saving Star, we have a Saving Star offer as well. So you can just kind of keep those apps stacking um, taking advantage of Fetch, taking advantage of Saving Star, taking advantage of the printable coupon in the store and the BOGO offer. So again, that is Bilo and Winn-Dixie through tomorrow night or Publix starting Wednesday. Um, so lots of options. And both of those offers, the Fetch Rewards offer doesn't end until the end of May. The Saving Star offer doesn't end until the end of June. So if you don't have those three stores, you're okay. It will come on sale somewhere else. But I'm just showing you kind of the examples of the deals that are out there. Um, let's see, um, and, um, hopefully that helps, um, on everybody. So, oh, and Deborah's saying you can also try any store on Ibotta. So hopefully that, um, if you see that option as well, I just usually check one of the ones at the top, but you know, you guys already know, I don't really read most of what Ibotta pops up, um. Oh, and then Kathy, another great question, um, Kathy, on the YouTube side. Do mobile apps, Saving Star, Ibotta, Checkout 51, communicate together and block duplicate trans, uh, submissions? A little bit. So Checkout 51 and Saving Star are in cahoots. They have been in cahoots in the past. I am not sure whether or not this is going to remain the case, um, but they have been in the past sharing data between themselves. So if you... Um, tried to submit a Checkout 51 offer and a Saving Star offer, it usually wouldn't let you. Now I say I don't know why, it, whether or not it's gonna remain, Checkout 51 is owned by SmartSource, uh, and Saving Star was just purchased by Coupons.com. So Saving Star was purchased by Coupons.com about two months ago. Um, so in the end, I'm not sure. They aren't companies that really even like each other. Um, that they're going to keep sharing data doesn't really make much sense. Um, I think we'll also start to see less of the offers overlapping between those two particular apps because right now a lot of the offers overlap between Checkout 51 and Saving Star. I think we're going to start to see less and less of that with the, um, them pretty much going very separate ways. Um, 
But other than those two apps, no, none of the other apps communicate or talk with each other at all. So hopefully um, that makes sense and, and uh, it doesn't open more questions. Um, okay, so Grace says, I like to get the Sunday papers on Monday, but sometimes my local stores run out or don't save Sunday papers. Do I have any tips for getting uh, one or multiple Sunday paper coupons throughout the week? So Grace, I don't actually get the local paper. I get mine in the mail. And uh, I've done that now for a few years. Um, so I order mine from sundaycouponinserts.com and they come in the mail on Monday uh, versus getting them from a local store. That might be an option for you. You would just have a standing subscription. So I get four uh, every week. I don't think people need four, by the way, um, unless you have a big family. So if you don't know that about me, I have five kids and a husband. Um, so with seven people, four inserts is plenty. Uh, but if you don't have that many people, then don't go overboard because the more inserts that you get, the more that this is going to take time uh, away from other things that you want to do. So don't go crazy on how many inserts you get. But that might be a good offer or a good option for you, uh, Grace, if you're struggling with getting the local paper to not get it and to get it in the mail instead. Um, Okay, so let me back up and make sure I haven't missed anything else. Um, Question-wise, um, can I mix Catalina coupons with Kroger Digital Offers? Yes. So Catalina coupons are, are if we're speaking of the what is really a Catalina coupon, those are really just blank coupons off your total purchase, and they can be used with digital coupons um, that are the five-time use coupons for sure in Kroger. They cannot be used with traditional digitals unless you have enough products, and odds are you will. So here's what I mean by that. If I went in and I plan on buying this, and I had one coupon for this, and I wanted to pay also with a Catalina offer, I can't. Um, that's two manufacturer's coupons on one product. Now, the Catalina coupon, the blank ones that are true Catalinas because you bought whatever was particip participating for the deal, they don't care what you bought. So as long as I have two products, I can use two coupons. And that same rule is going to apply when you go to Walgreens and you try to use a register award because a register award is a Catalina coupon. So it's just making sure that I have enough um, manufacturer's coupons to cover the number of items that you're grabbing. But odds are, if you're doing a grocery shopping trip, you've got produce, you've got milk, you've got items that don't have a coupon with them. So you're going to be just fine. You're not going to have any issues using a Catalina coupon along with all the other coupons that you planned on using on that purchase. Um, let's see. So how do you submit if you do a Walmart online order and um, for pickup to the mobile apps? So with a Walmart receipt, this gets a little tricky with online orders. Um, first off, they don't take any paper coupons. With the mobile apps, if you can... Um, on your receipt or pull up your digital receipt through your Walmart account uh, and print that, shrink it down. There's there's some ways that people have been playing with this to get it to work with the mobile apps. But Ibotta in particular really just wants to scan the QR code or the barcode that's at the bottom of that Walmart receipt. So you should be able to find that on your online receipt, on a copy of your receipt, um, I've heard some people going in and getting a, a copy of the receipt from customer service um, just to be able to get that code. That's really all you need to be able to submit the Ibotta offer. So hopefully that's going to make it all work for you. It does get a little tricky, though, uh, and honestly, you're going to have a much better deal um, shopping in Walmart to be able to use paper coupons along with everything. So sorry, guys. I'm gonna, I am don't normally do this, but... I have a sore throat, so I'm going to take advantage of uh, all of our uh, amazing deals on sparkling water this week um, and make it where I don't lose my voice. Um, oh, and Sandra's chiming in on inserts, too, for anyone that was wanting inserts. Um, the, where she gets hers is $1 from the Dollar Tree. If you're going to go with that, um, with that you've got to get there very early, though, because they sell out quickly. Uh, there are a lot of folks that know that um, the Dollar Tree has papers and you need to be there on Sunday morning to take advantage of that. Uh, and Family Dollar also has them for a dollar. 
Oh, and Angel, yeah, so for the Fetch Rewards deal that I mentioned and the code that I put in, any grocery receipt from the last 14 days, it does not have to have a special offer on it. You'll automatically get points from every receipt that you upload, and you want to get in that habit with Fetch, always uploading every grocery receipt, whether it had one of their eight participating little offers or not, because they actually have other brands that they work with. Um, so I'll try to show you what I mean by that and pull it back up here for a second. Um, but inside Fetch, if you buy um, other participating brands, and they've got a lot that are there, and you can kind of hit view all. Um, here we go. Uh, sorry, I forget it wasn't up. So this is, uh, there are 239 brands that you can end up purchasing any of those products and earning points because you did. And it's not a lot. They don't even tell you how many points you're going to get. A lot of times it's a really tiny amount. It's like 20 points for this and 30 points for this, which is like two and three cents. Um, but the fact that you're going to earn it off your total receipt, if you, if you scan a receipt for fetch that's, let's say you spent a hundred bucks in Publix, that receipt's probably going to be worth about 250 points for you. Uh, now, 3,000 points equals a gift card in Fetch. So if you think about, let's say you scanned four or five receipts a week, you're going to earn that gift card pretty quickly, even if you never bought a bonus item. Um, so this is just the condiment section and shows you there's a lot there. It's a lot of craft products. It's a lot of um, Campbell's. Uh, um, there's baby items in here. Let's see Frozen uh, Unilever. Unilever owns Briars, Good Humor, Magnum, Orida. Um, so you can see these are just general brands. Uh, not a specific offer. Just because they're on your receipt, you're going to earn extra points for them. So always get in the habit. Every receipt when you come home, you're already going to be submitting them to Saving Star and the other apps anyway. It only takes two seconds when you already have the receipt on the table to take pictures and upload it to Fetch. And Fetch is not going to want you to scan barcodes. So it really is uh, kind of a breeze to use. Uh, and definitely only going to take an extra minute to add to the mix. Um, oh, no. So Jackie says, they've changed my card at Winn-Dixie so many times. How, how do I find out which one works? Um, that's a tricky one. So Bilo and Winn-Dixie, I know Bilo does. I mean, I assume Winn-Dixie does this as well. They have an online... Um, my Bilo or my Winn Dixie account, and that is what I would recommend that you do. So, this is also the same way that you would be loading your digital offers if you're using their digital coupons. So, you're going to want to make sure that you're loading your digital offers to the right card anyway. So, coming in and clicking at the very top up here is login and register. Um, so, you can either log into your account or you can register for a new account. And when you log in, you're going to be able to see that card number. Um, right there, the card number that they plan on you using or the phone number that you should be using in the store and making sure that it's the right one uh, and you're going to you're gonna be good to go once you do that. So hopefully that's going to solve the problems. Log in and see what they have in their section. Um, oh, good. So, Lynn, I do plan on keep doing. Uh, I will. I, my goal is to get to Walgreens tomorrow morning. Um, I've done a Walgreens and a CBS video for the last couple weeks. But last week, I mean, I didn't do anything. Um, I didn't shop. I didn't, um, yeah, we just survived on what was in our pantry. It's another reason to coupon when mama is just not feeling good. Um, so I did walk stores for unadvertised deals, and I came home with milk, and that was it. <laughs> um, so it was a, I'm here, but I am not couponing this week, and I, I you wouldn't have wanted me to make a video. Um, okay, uh, let's see. Oh, good. And oh, and Deborah's giving you another tip for Vetch, guys. Uh, I have never tried this one, Deborah, but it's a great idea. She said she's gotten so many extra points by scanning random receipts that she finds in parking lots. So there you go. You can earn a ton of points with Vetch and not actually have to purchase anything in the store if you wanted to. Um, oh, interesting. And um, the Catalina for Harris Teeter, folks, uh, talking about Palm Olive. Um, the Harris Heater is saying that it goes to $2 on your next visit. So, Tawana, you'll have to tell me if it works. Um, that's interesting that it's not working as a Catalina, but as a savings um, digitally. I haven't seen them run those before. Uh, okay, so we've hit a few, and we have a lot more apps to get to. Um, sorry, guys, and we're um, almost out of time. 
Let's see. So the others that I wanted to mention, um, we've talked Ibotta, we've talked Saving Star, Checkout 51. Really, the concept is the same across all of these. You go to the store, you buy an item, you come home, and you submit your receipt, or you have your receipt linked through them. Um, but one other one that I feel like we always need to talk about when we talk mobile apps is Target. I cannot tell you how many times I teach a workshop and I ask folks, you know, do you use Cartwheel? And people say no, they've never heard of it. So it's like a small little, like, we need to sit down and have an intervention right now. You may never go back into Target without using Target Cartwheel. So this is part of, and I'll back up again, this is part of the Target app. Um, they used to be separate apps. You just need the Target app. It's going to save you a ton of money, even if you're only in Target once a month. Cartwheel is the third option down. And there are literally hundreds of cartwheel offers. I always click on the red dog. It's just the fastest way to see them all. And then right now at the very top, you can see there's 659 cartwheels. That's a ton of cartwheels. You can't even begin to process it. You would be sitting here and scrolling all night long. You don't really want to do that. So instead, whoop, come up and at the very top, you can sort by discount. That's really what you want to do. And now we can see, oh, wow, there's 50% off spiral cut hams, 50% uh, off Sweet Baby Ray's hot sauce. So you can load any of these that you want, and these are sales. These are hidden sales. You will not see them mentioned at all in the store. Um, they're only for the folks who took the time to find them, and I can still use them with other coupons. So, um, for example, uh, this week we can get a $5 gift card when you buy $20 worth of personal care. So here's 30% off. Two different yes to uh, mud masks and cleansing wipes. Uh, there aren't a lot of yes to manufacturers coupons, but I'm still going to be able to buy $20 worth, and that $20 is before these cartwheel offers. So you're going to get 30% off with cartwheel, but you will have hit the requirement to earn the gift card, which is pretty sweet. Uh, so all the time, these stack with all sorts of offers, but they definitely stack with coupons as well. Um, so I'm trying to see if any jump out right away. I already showed you the Tidy Cats, which is a very fun one. Um, Tidy Cats, it's only a little 5% off offer. Um, this is another cat offer, <laughs> uh, but we've got 25% off any litter genie, and we have a $5 printable coupon. And so I can pair that together if I wanted to. These can always be used with manufacturer's coupons. There's a lot there. So you can go through, you just click the plus signs, they magically turn into check marks, and they've been loaded to my account. Once they're in my account, if I click on wallet, uh, and I am going to not enter my thumbprint because I have my red card linked to it, um, so if you have your red card linked to it and you enter your thumbprint, your barcode will change and you'll actually pay with your barcode and your cartwheel at the same time. But this is all that they need to scan the store. And now I'm going to get all of my cartwheel offers right there at the register. All of those percentage off offers are going to show up. The other thing that is right here under wallet is the view coupon. So that's the, the little white button and it shows you all of the current coupons that are in your app. These are really the coupons that were in the Target Weekly ad this week. If you don't get the Sunday paper, though, like me, I just get my inserts in the mail. I don't need a Target Weekly ad. I have it. Now, you'll also find that these tend to be printed and taped up by the register, so it's not really a big deal. But if you had a store that was a crazy hard stickler for it, they are in your app. So you have the offer. You can save the offer. And then all I need to do again is scan the barcode. Now, this is new because you used to have to come in and scan the barcode here and then come back uh, and scan the barcode here. But now I don't. Notice that, that the coupon just showed up right below the cartwheel. So as long as you have saved the offers here, you're now good to go. And that's going to save you a few seconds at the register for sure, not having to remember to pull up one barcode and then pull up another. So pretty sweet to see them um, making some changes. Having red card directly linked, if you do that, means that it scans it, and I paid, and I'm, I'm done. I go on with my, my happy day, um, and life is, is grand. Um, so let me back up one more thing here. If you've not used this before, we can search Cartwheel by barcode as well. Um, so if you want, you click the barcode button, and it automatically scans things. 
and says, you know what, there's not an offer available on Axe right now, um, but the more that you scan, in theory, the more you're going to find offers that could be available. And there we go. That one had a $1 off offer. Because I scanned it, it immediately saved it. You can see the offer saved. Um, so it's a fast way to scan across all of these crazy cartwheels. Now, I went all the way back to the home screen to get there, but you can actually get there from the search button in Cartwheel as well. And what pulls up, it automatically pulls up one where you would type in your search, but right above the, um, the alphabet box, this bar right here says um, to scan a barcode. So if I click that, then it's going to pull up that same barcode. I only have a few things that I grabbed to be near me, um, but you get the idea. So I don't have to go all the way back to find that barcode scanner. It is definitely going to save you from missing out on deals, though. And I am very much either I give this to a kid to scan barcodes as we shop or I'm the person at the register really quick while I'm waiting for the person in front of me to check out and I'm quickly scanning all barcodes. It only takes a second, um, but that way you know that you have them all saved and then you can check out. Um, but you should be using this to check out in Target and not be using Target Cartwheel. You are going to very much um, miss on a ton of sales that you never knew about because they are not tagged in the store. I cannot tell you how many times in Target I've seen people grab things and I've stopped. I'm like, you do know that there is a 30% off offer on that, right? And they'll look at me like I'm crazy. I'm like, well, let's just stop right now. Let's download the app and let's, I just, I can't let you. This is wrong to let you check out and not know about it at all. Um, let's see. So, um, as we go through, I'm trying to make sure I, I um, is there a limit on receipts to fetch? There is, I want to say in a one week period, it's something like 13 or 14 receipts per week. Uh, I have not ever hit it, uh, but I had someone mention that on a Q&A that we did a few months ago. So I want to say it was 14, but again, I haven't hit it. Um, so you're, you're probably going to be pretty good. Um, Oh, and where do I order? So Sunday, couponinserts.com. Uh, and I can stick a link in as well for that. Um, but this is um, where we get ours from each week. So, um, oh, and if I'm frozen, hopefully I'll come back. Um, and I bought it in Saving Star. Uh, no, no. I, um, I bought it in Saving Star. I work with them directly. So um, if you wanted to, it's not anything um, that will, you can go particular, if you want, you can go through these links. Um, so that is a link to Ibotta, and I'll put in the link for Saving Star. Um, but I don't have a um, referral code anymore. Um, for bloggers, they um, turned that off sadly. Um, but Fetch hasn't. So if you want to use it, I won't complain at all. Um, okay, so we hit a lot. Um, other things to mention in terms of mobile apps. Um, if you have not already, Saving Star or Saving Star Southern Savers has a mobile app. Uh, and the one thing I can tell you that I use the most for our mobile app in the store is the coupon database. Um, your lists are there too. You can make your shopping lists. For me, I'm, I'm just a desktop person when it comes to making um, my shopping list, but I use the database all the time in the grocery store. If I find a deal and I'm just curious, is there even a coupon for this? Is there a mobile app for this? They're all in the database. So uh, head to Southern Savers, get the mobile app, use the database. The other thing um, is that it does have a barcode scanner. So the barcode scanner is meant to help you find deals online, um, and I don't have um, I don't have any good examples. So I'll scan acts. It's not meant to help you with your groceries. It's really meant to help you with um, DVDs, books, you know, whatever you might be searching for. Uh, it's going to search across Amazon, Target, Walmart. Um, for online purchases, not necessarily for other things. So it didn't return anything on X, but if you are walking through Target and you find a DVD, scan the barcode on the DVD, and you're going to be able to know whether or not Amazon has that DVD cheaper, that book cheaper, and then you can price match it right there in the store. So take advantage of the barcode scanner um, and fully maximize price matching 
Target, Best Buy, Staples. Um, those are the big three that price match. Uh, and you can always do that right there in the store. So scan the barcode. Hey, Amazon has this DVD for $9.99. Target's going to price match it. And then folks that have a Target Red Card, you're going to get 5% off on top of the price match. So pretty sweet to fully take advantage of the price match. Um, there are other things that are in the app too, but those are the main two. Um, that Well, I guess one other that I always... Folks always ask, when is such and such on sale or where is such and such on sale? So that's the item search as well. So if you've not started to take advantage of the item search, this is also on the desktop, but that is part of the mobile app um, as well. So if we're going to talk couponing apps, I might as well get a second to mention those few things. Um, oh, and Tawana says we're still using flip phones. Um, you know, honestly, in terms of the apps that are out there, Tawana, it's not going to pay for your phone bill. So to switch from a flip phone to a smartphone and to have to pay for data and all of that, not necessarily going to fully fully cover that cost. Um, now, there are some pretty cheap data plans out there. Uh, if you went with a prepaid plan or you wanted to try it for a month or two and just see. But all of that said, um, Checkout 51 and Saving Star both will let you submit receipts online. So maybe you start with those mobile apps and you do... You do online submissions of your receipts, and you don't do Ibotta right now, um, or you um, borrow someone's phone and you create an Ibotta account and you link your offers. Um, you know, go that route if you can. Um, some folks have tried to use Ibotta on a tablet. It's not designed for a tablet, and you may have a hard time finding um, a way to even download it but that could be something to try as well, at least to use with a card-based store because I'm not going to have to take pictures of my receipt. I'm not going to have to upload anything. I just need a way to be able to get in and to load the offers. And that might still work for you um, on Ibotta. Oh, and Angel's saying that she went ahead and she did the fetch deal um, and she got 750 points for her first time receipt and 29 points for a product that she purchased and the 3,000 bonus. So pretty sweet. Uh, Angel, you can automatically turn around and get a $3 Amazon gift card tonight if you wanted or just hold on to it. They have all sorts of thresholds where you can pay uh, cash out at different levels for gift cards. Um, oh, and there we go. Um, so this is, uh, this is the route I would go then. So Amanda is chiming in to want to, and I think it's a great idea, she um, uses a cheap straight talk phone that's not even currently connected to service. So you basically have the phone and you're using it just almost as an old iPod, if you think about it, getting an old phone, not getting service, and just using it on Wi-Fi. I don't know why I didn't think about that. So that would be enough to be able to let you run all of those mobile apps without having to pay a dime for the service. Um, so maybe, Tawana, your goal is really to either to go and get a super cheap phone from Straight Talk or track phone kind of smartphone still. It can be a Google, uh, Android, or iOS. Do not go Windows. So a number of these apps do not have Windows-based apps. Southern Savers doesn't have a Windows-based app. Um, it's just too much work to make three different apps. So most people make an iOS and an Android, um, which is all the Google phones. You're fine there. Uh, or find a really cheap one on eBay or Facebook Marketplace, and you're perfect. Use it just on Wi-Fi. Um, brilliant idea, guys. See, we can all learn from folks. I didn't even think about it. Um, okay, we're almost out of time, or we really are. Um, we hit a number of, of apps, um, and hopefully this helps on the coupon side of things. If you have any apps that I didn't mention, I mentioned Receipt Hog briefly. Receipt Hog is just like Fetch. Um, so you're going to scan your receipts, earn points, and then redeem those points for gift cards. I don't use Receipt Hog very often. Another one that you can use is Shopkicks. Shopkicks, you earn points by checking in to stores and taking pictures of products inside of stores. I also do not use Shopkicks, but I do know a number of folks who do and have gotten some great gift cards from kind of going crazy on the number of check-ins that they do. Um, but, uh, you know, for me, I kind of, I only go to the store once a week as it is, um, but I found in the past, every time I've tried to use Shopkicks, that it just drains my battery so fast. 
um, that I have not put it back on my phone recently. So Angel's chiming in and saying she loves it. Um, so, you know, I'll mention it. It's a, a good choice if you're wanting to try some more apps to earn more gift cards. Um, you could add that to your mix, definitely. Uh, I I do not, um, but you can. So I am not only a strange person who keeps all my coupons in one little coupon folder, um, but I'm also a little bit of a battery miser. And if I find that an app is, is all of a sudden draining it, um, it gets kicked off my phone really fast. Um, so that was it for me on that one. Um, but those are two others that you could also download and try out if you wanted to. Uh, we could also go into a ton of others. Um, I, we use an app every time we eat out. We I keep all of the apps. I guess really I can give you almost just a tour here and not specifically mention of them. So I have all my coupon apps in one particular pocket, but then also all my store apps, um, CVS, Target, uh, even the grocery store apps, they're helpful because it's a really fast way to load their digital offers. There's not anything in the app other than Target Cartwheel um, that I couldn't get online. It's just a fast way to load digital offers. So those are all, I, and they're all in their own little pocket together. If you do crafts, by the way, Joanne's app, there are some good coupons in there that they do not send by email and that you will not find on the Joanne website. So just a little plug for fellow crafters. Um, you should definitely grab that one. Um, so all my stores live in one pocket and then all of my dining apps in another. So if you are eating fast food, you should always be using an app to pay for fast food or to at least scan at the fast food restaurant. Um, every single one of these companies has rewards programs in their app. And then scanning your app or even paying through your app, you're always going to earn more points and more rewards. Um, so just making it a habit that these are always there for you. Uh, Krispy Kreme, for example, the more you use your app, um, and it wants me to sign in, I don't even know if I know my login, but I've earned a free dozen. Maybe I shouldn't have announced that. Now my husband knows. Um, so the uh, anytime you use your app, the more rewards you're going to earn. It might take you a little while to earn those rewards and get to redeem them for something, but seriously, if they have an app, you should be using it. Um, to take advantage of the rewards. It's basically like the old punch cards, guys. Instead of carrying around all these punch cards, just put them all in a folder and just make sure you're getting your punches as you check out. It's the same thing from going way back into the, you know, 80s, uh, still there. So making sure you're taking advantage of all of those, whatever the apps are that you regularly use. I'm not uh, I'm not going to make you a list of you need all of these dining out apps if you never eat at Salsaritas. Don't worry about their app, but you get the idea. Um, and yes, I will be doing a Walgreens and a CBS video. I have the deals pulled and plan on going tomorrow to film them, and then hopefully we'll get them up tomorrow night. Um, I just, last week was really rough for me, but I am glad to be back in the land of the living because that's what it feels like. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and hop off. I hope that this was helpful for you guys. Um, we will be back next Monday night, same time for a Q&A. This week, I will post Walgreens um, deals and CVS deals. I have to shop CVS. I've got a ton of extra care bucks that are going to expire. And um, we'll shop Publix because, you know, you take a week off from shopping and things start to go bare pretty quickly. Um, people just eat up. So um, well, I'll hopefully pop in with all those videos this week. So I hope you guys have a great week. And thanks again for joining me. I hope this answered questions that you may have had or maybe you learned a few new things if you've already heard this topic before. So... Um, you guys are great and it's always great to spend my Monday night with you. So thanks for being here. Y'all have a good night.